first time I've ever driven a car before. I really wish you'd mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Why? movie that Ryan Reynolds stars in and it is directed by Sean Levy and is written by Matt Lieberman and Zach Penn from a story by Matt Lieberman. The movie of course stars Ryan Reynolds, one of the funniest actors alive and the best troller on the internet. And it also stars Jodie Com Comer, Little Rel Howie, Uta Karsh, Abdul Kar, Joey Carey, Channing Tatum, and Taika Waititi. The movie is essentially a video game movie where Ryan Reynolds is a character that is in a video game and doesn't know he's in a video game and just thinks that, kind of like the Truman Show in a way, it's like Grand Theft Auto, or no, let me just, Grand Theft Auto, Wreck-It Ralph meets the Truman Show, best way to describe it. The movie basically is about like, okay, Ryan Reynolds is this NPC in a video game and he's an online massive multiplayer game and he gets basically trapped in here. You know, he's not trapped in her, but he basically gets, like, you know, like, there's a character, and he doesn't realize that he's a, vi a video game character, and that there's this woman that's in here, played by Jodie Comer, who basically, she's trying to find a coat, or she's trying to find this island, you know, this, like, proof, because there's a file that has, like, her, like, original work that she did, because she sold a video, her and Joey Carey, they sold a video game to another video game developer, and they took their coding and made like this like NPCs where they actually are like real people. They do stuff like imagine when you play GTA 5, how all the characters are doing stuff while you're not playing. That's kind of what they're doing, but they're more advanced AI. And so they're trying to prove that he stole their, their he stole their coding basically by like okay because apparently there is a law where if you can take buy somebody's game, you don't buy the coding or something. I don't know if that's true or not, but like in the movie that is, which I'm like. I questioned that in the movie. I was like, is that really true? Or is it not? You know, Ryan, and I had some issues with this movie. I was wanting to love this movie. I watched the trailer a thousand times and I loved it. I thought it was so great. It, I was loving those trailers. And then I watched the movie and I was just thinking, why am I not laughing? Like, there's a few jokes in there that made me really laugh, but I was just watching this going, okay, okay, okay. And then, also, here's the funny thing. There was nobody in the theater. It was just me and my dad wanted to go see me because every time my dad comes in, he's a truck driver, every time he comes in, my uh, we uh, go watch a movie together. And we watched Free Guy, and I'm watching this, and I'm just thinking, huh, isn't that good? You know, like, after the movie, we just looked at each other, and <laughs> he fell asleep during the movie. I was just sitting there watching the movie, and I'm just like, I looked up and nobody was around. I'm like, oh yeah, we're the only people in the theater, huh? Which, given that everybody, that Shang-Chi had just come out, everybody was going to see Shang-Chi. So that could have been the reason. I don't think the movie's terrible. I just think like, but there was, the movie wasn't that funny. Like, I was watching it going, oh, this is going to be great. And then Ryan Reynolds never misses. And I'm like, I even like some movies that he's not even great in. Like, people say, oh, terrible. I loved Six Underground. I thought Six Underground was a great film. I loved the one where he was uh, in a, like Ben Kingsley's body. Uh, he's in a body. It's like a body swap movie. It's not the one change. It's not the change up. It's another one where it's a serious action movie with Ben Kingsley, where he takes a guy's body. He takes his body. He's an old man, but he takes Ryan Reynolds' body, and Ryan Reynolds running around the movie as an old man. You know, I like that movie. Even I need to find that title of the movie. Damn, it really bums me out that I don't know the title. But anyway, but I really liked. Well, there's a lot of Ryan Reynolds movies I really like. I even like Buried, and Buried's depressing as hell. I, and the Green Lantern, there are moments in Green Lantern that I liked. I just did not like this movie. I was just like, I really wanted to like it, but I just, I, every five minutes, I just kept looking at my watch going, <sighs> like, really? Okay. So when the movie got up, I just got up and walked out of there. You know, like, I literally woke my dad up, and I'm like, Dad, let's go. He's like, Oh, is it over? Do you want to watch the post credits? I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm like, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm like, 
Like, I was literally, I'm just like, I, mean, I wanted to like it, but it just, I just didn't. It made me mad that I didn't. And I'm like, oh, there's going to be a sequel they just announced. And everybody's been like, even the CEO of Sony went and saw the movie. And, you know, at CinemaCon, he announced he went and saw it. And it's going to be Disney enough the sequel. I was getting, oh, this is going to be the greatest, great movie. Oh, my God, I can't wait to watch this. And then I sat in a the theater, and I'm like, what the fuck did they watch? <laughs> they didn't clearly watch the same movie I did. Or that, or they're just happy to be back at the movies. Because I was sitting in there watching this movie going... I don't understand what the hell they saw in this movie. I mean, maybe there's something I'm missing. Is there like a secret version they saw that was better? I just, I don't understand. I'm sitting there watching this movie going, I mean, there are some things I did like about the movie. Like, I like that there are some jokes in the movie that made me laugh. Like, Channing Tatum has some of the funniest moments in the movie. Channing Tatum has some of the, steals a lot of the scenes in the movie. He's only in like a few scenes, but like the scenes he's in, he kind of like, he basically gives you like, you know, your Channing Tatum's worth. Like, he literally was, like, some of the best stuff in the movie. You know, and I thought Jodie Comer does a great job. Ryan Reynolds does a great job. In fact, there's a joke in the movie that they did to him. I'm like, oh, my God, they are really... <laughs> like, oh, no. I'm like, he did not just say that joke. And then, like, you know, which he didn't finish the joke, but, like, the girl's like, don't say that. That's, that's trolls that say that. But <laughs> it's like, I can't believe they even referenced that. Like, oh, especially in a Disney movie. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> You know, with that joke, if he would have finished that joke, I guarantee there was some controversy around that joke. But, uh, but yeah, that was a crowd I thought was funny. It made me laugh. And then, of course, there is some stuff that I thought was just like, okay. Like, I like that the video game aspect of it. I like, I like how it's a video game. and It kind of puts you behind the scenes of what the video game world is like. Like, I guarantee you, stuff like this has really happened in real life to video game developers and stuff like people get their stuff bought and then like they take it and like they'll go and they'll make something else out of like what stuff they have their and their algorithms and stuff like that i'm sure it's happened in real life and you know i mean like one could say gta and cyberpunk cyberpunk just went through some of this stuff like recently cyberpunk you know had something similar happen to this in real life and so like you know like so that right there happened or that kind of you know it kind of felt like timely of this movie to come out and that cyberpunk thing happened and it just shows you like some things kind of art imitates life and i will say though taika waititi <laughs> plays some of the dumbest characters in the movie and it's a great role though like he's just like you know like he there's a joke about kentucky fried chicken where he's just like he said you want to make a sequel you got to make a sequel you don't do Albuquerque boil a turkey. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, you know, KFC, you don't do Al... Because, like, you don't... You do KFC, you don't do Albuquerque boil a turkey. You know, I'm just thinking, like, really? Really? I'm just like, wow, I was not expecting that, you know? And the movie itself, I mean, there are some fun moments. Like, you know, uh, like Channing Tatum, though, like, really, there's some jokes, especially about, like, the cliche of being a gamer of like you and your mom's basement or whatever and <laughs> your mom you know and it was like, you know, mom don't touch that's my special sock and i'm just like <laughs> like like the movie itself is there's some dumb moments in the movie i mean and maybe it's just i was i saw it i wasn't in a bad mood or nothing and maybe i just saw it in a bad day because i when i first watched ready player one i didn't like it as much but then as i rewatched it i, I loved it like i think my second movie, i loved it like first thing i mean maybe i was busy when i watched the first time then when I saw it the second time, I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, this is a great movie. And then maybe when it, maybe that's something. Maybe I just missed something when I was watching it. Maybe if I watch like YouTube breakdowns or something, maybe I'll like it more on the second viewing. Because I'm one of those people that can flip on something. I'll watch something. If I watch it more and more, I'll start to like it. Like, One Woman 84 kind of recently came around to me. I was like, you know, this ain't that bad of a movie. I mean, you get Cheetah fighting Wonder Woman. You know, you got the cool opening scene. And then you get that cool 80s vibe. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not great either, but it's not that bad. But, you know, I mean, there's things like that. Like, I mean, I will say, though, like, you know, the game that, you know, the one thing that kind of bugged me, like, all right, so they're playing a game, and in, in the movie, we're watching the game, like, you know, that Ryan Reynolds is in. Well, in the game, you see the characters playing this game. The game in the movie looks nothing like the game that we are watching on the screen. Like, they're playing this game, and I'm just thinking... There is a video game in the movie Grown Ups that the kids are playing where they're killing people on the boat at the beginning of the movie. Where Adam Sandler's kids are playing the game and they're killing people on the boat. And I'm like, it looks exactly like that game. Only it's in the city. And I'm just thinking, this looks nothing like the, the game that they're playing in real life and on the movie that we're watching. Like, this just looks like they made this quick game. Or it looks like they just CGI'd that game in there. 
And I'm like, why couldn't they just show, like, the camera, like, you know, just, like, watching a movie, just put that on the screen, and we see it in real life, I mean. I just thought that was kind of stupid. It's like, okay, so they either built or they CGI'd a fake game that looks nothing like the product we're watching on screen. And I'm just like, that makes no sense. Why would they even do that? And, I mean, that was one of my pet peeves, that, that right there. And also, I just felt like, you know, like... I will say, it, 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 it was better that the bad guy didn't go to jail. Like, the stuff I love was, like, the jokes. Like, Chain Tatum I thought was great. Ryan Reynolds is always great as ever. Um, he gets hit by stuff. So, like, cars and trains in this movie. And I did think that was great that, you know, and some stuff doesn't make sense. Like, how would he find, like, okay, the girl, she goes to the bad guy's lair, okay, to get, like, Chain Tatum's, I guess, his lair, to get, like a, like, a file. And Ryan Reynolds just follows her there. This is, they went there. They go there twice, by the way. The first time makes no sense how they go. The second time she's with him, so it makes sense. The first time he just follows her, like just randomly shows up, and I'm like, out of all this massive game, how would he find her in that area? Makes no sense whatsoever. Now it could be like, I mean, it, I, it could be because maybe her gamer tag shows up online, but he doesn't know this is a game, so for him to find her randomly makes no sense. Also, there are some fun moments where the kids. <laughs> <laughs> where where these two little girls are playing robbing a bank and like they get, start like when they go to start to curse <laughs> and then all of a sudden it just cuts away I thought that was funny and they actually do curse in this movie like there's an f bomb dropped in that movie and I'm like wow they dropped an f bomb in this movie but again this was Fox before Disney bought them so this was like like Brian Reynolds joked and said it's like a Fox fire cell and uh, I, I mean I'm looking I'm hoping the sequel I like more. I will say that this movie is probably, like, you know, not my favorite movie of the year. I have not seen Shang-Chi yet, so hopefully I'm like, I'll like Shang-Chi more. Um, I just think that this movie could have been great. Like, I just felt like the trailers, and also there's some scenes that are not in the movie. Like, when Taika Waititi holds the button and goes, boop, 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 like the, like the buzzer, you know, in the first trailer, that's not in the movie at all. Like, I was like, where's that scene at? And I will say, I did like the fact that he goes down and starts destroying the servers at the end. I thought that was great, Taika Waititi doing that. He has some great scenes, but even though he's not in the whole movie, like he comes in like the third act of the movie. The first two acts is just like Jody and Joey in the real world, and it kind of feels boring in the real world. Like the, the, the fictional world is more fantastic, and I wish they would have stayed on that more than the fictional world, but sometimes it kind of jumps back and forth, and I don't care sometimes about the real world. I just like, I don't care. But then when it goes to the fictional world, and I understand it has a love story and it's trying to be like a lovey-dovey movie at the same time trying to tell like the notebook in the real world, but trying to tell this like, you know, Wreck-It Ralph story in the video game world, which is great, which is great. I mean, but I just felt like I didn't love it as much. And, you know, there are some funny jokes I recommend you watch. I mean, it's up for an opinion. It's just my opinion. Go watch it for yourself. You might love it. I did. You know, there's people that I, there's movies that I love that people said they didn't like this year. I love Jungle Cruise, and I know a lot of people that didn't like Jungle Cruise. I loved, I thought Space Jam was fine, the new one. I know a lot of people that said that movie's the garbage. You know, it's fine. You can have your own opinion. I'm just saying that's my opinion, and that's how I feel. You don't need to send me death threats or tell me my mom's a whore or I suck, you know what. You know, you don't have to send me, my, you're going to kill my whole family. Just, It's fine. I have my own opinion. You don't have to send me death threats. I know it's opinion, okay? I just hope you know it too, okay? All right. But that, I will say, if I had to give this movie a grade, I would say a C- minus or a C+. Plus, you know? I mean, there are some stuff I liked. Like, Chain Tatum, I thought he was great in the movie. Oh, yeah, also, there is the dude. The, <laughs> all right, the dude. <laughs> He's a big buff Ryan Reynolds. I thought he was great, too. And Little Howie's also pretty good. You know, he plays the cliche best friend. But And there is a funny scene where uh, the dude is... Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's there's two Marvel. There's a Disney. There's a Marvel Easter egg and a Star Wars Easter egg in there. Just wait. You say, it. oh yeah, and it's something to do with Captain America and the light and just a lightsaber. And also the Captain America actually appears in this movie. Chris Evans appears in one scene. He was like, what? It's just like, wow. Like that was that to me made me smile more than anything. But yeah, that right there. That's why I said I was gonna do a C my like C plus because I mean that scene made me smile. I'm like. You know, but, I mean, that's my opinion. C plus all around. Thank you so much for watching. I promise I'm going to have a review for Shang-Chi soon. Uh, I'm going to go see it next weekend, and I'm going to have this. Also, I'm do working on uh, 
I'm gonna start working on my horror. I'm working right now the horror slate for October. It's gonna be nothing but October. I will try to do Venom 2, Dune. I will do, of course, the movies that are coming out in theaters, but I will also mostly just be horror movie related throughout the whole month. So, thank you so much for watching, and if you can, just fall down the rabbit hole.